Hi, I'm your host, Michael Angelo. And this episode is being sponsored by Kikaw Institute of Hawaii. Coincidentally, Kikaw means guitar in Hawaiian. Alright, I want to uh, keep keep you guys uh, in the know about how I figured out the, the, the Star Trek, uh, the Star Wars, uh, even the X-Men. Because I know some of you out there want to know this stuff. Uh, Star Trek, I just figured out that day. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just picked up Socrates and just kind of fooled around with it until I had a basic structure and then, I mean, it, it wasn't like Star Wars. Star Wars I kind of knew from maybe back in the 90s and I guess I'm a Star Wars fan, uh, but you know, it was fun learning the, the Star Trek thing. Plus, I know it now. Uh, Star Wars, it, it was it was it was fun for me just to kind of go over it. Uh, although I do know how to play it a little better now because uh, I, I I put it up against uh, the actual movie, and even though it it may be uh, half step backwards. You know, it, it, it still allows me to, you know, just to, to do the whole thing. Yeah, you know. And, um, I kind of figured out that that one part, the fast part. That was good to, to know. At least I know it now. And then um, the X Men theme. Uh, I I've, I've been trying to figure out the 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 X Men theme for a while actually. Um, maybe since early 2000. Uh, I I I just was totally into the to the to the theme because I like X Men. And, um, but I, I could never really get the hang of it until maybe a couple of nights ago I, uh, I was at home and I was, you know, just kind of funneling around. Wait a minute, that, and then I would, I would listen to the video. That's it. Okay, so the, the next part has to be around there somewhere. And I was like, ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's how I practice when I'm at home. Uh, I, I normally practice my scales first and then, you know, st start doing melodies like um, when, when I'm at home I get that. these little melodies and and then from there I, I, I go to the, the meaty gritty stuff uh, you know like Mozart um, maybe some Beethoven 
um, maybe some Tchaikovsky. I, I just like classical music. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, those are some of the insights of my mind. And for those of you who are starting out transcribing, I would probably start off with melodies first. Because melodies is simple. It's something that's in your mind and something that you can kind of hum like, to it. And, you know, it, it's just there. And once you're able to kind of grab a little bit of it, then that, then you're on your way to really transcribing. I remember my first song that I that I really figured out was Sweet Child of Mine. And um, actually I figured that song out because uh, there was this uh, student there named Brad and he, he, he was always in competition with me and well I well, I cannot lie, I I kind of made it like that. So, but yeah, so he was like, hey, um, there's this cool song out there now. It's called Sweet Child of Mine. I bet you can't figure it out. And I'm like, Sh sure I can. Now, back then, we didn't have this internet thing, nor did we have YouTube. I had to have a cassette tape put inside a cassette player and then listen to it and kind of figure it out. <laughs> and another thing, back then, or at least, I mean they still do that now, but back then it was the band Guns N' Roses was tuned to E flat. And I mean, I, I didn't know that. You know, to me, it was common knowledge that most bands would play in standard tuning. Uh, but I, I, I learned somewhere down the line, because of Ingve, I started to play a half step down uh, because, you know, I wanted to be like him. And, um, but tuning half step down allowed me to play the melody. <laughs> where Guns N' Roses was coming along. But the, the thing was, um, when I, I was tuned to standard, then my, my Guns N' Roses wouldn't fly because I wasn't tuned to E fly. And that was a bummer. But, you know, just like with all things, we, we, we learn to adapt. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope my rambling has given you some ideas in in your playing so because I want to see your name in life I want to hear you jam I want to hear your name in the paper I want to I just want the best for you and I had my time now it's yours all right so excuse me do is something else. 
I can't believe I never did like to before. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I don't like clear soda like Sprite or 7-Up, but I do. <sighs> Quenches the thirst. All right. So I am Michelangelo. I hope you learned from my rambling. And I want to see your name in life.